what's up my lovelies welcome to my channel if you are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you are returning welcome back so today i am going on a little solo date and i just wanted to take you guys with me i have been reading this book called the artist way i can't remember who it's by but yeah i'm gonna put it in the description but I'm reading a book called The Artist's Way that's basically like a 12 week program that's supposed to help um, unblock your inner artist, like your creativity and all of that. And one of the things that is suggested that you do weekly in the book is an artist date. So I am taking myself on my artist date today. I was gonna go to the Detroit Institute of Arts, but I was out literally all day yesterday, y'all. Like, I left home at like 12 something. I didn't get home to like 10 something. Like, I was out all day and my knees are hurting. Like, y'all, <laughs> I did over 12,000 steps yesterday. And y'all want to know what my average is? It was like 2,500. So, yeah, <laughs> I did a whole lot of walking. So, I'm really not in the mood to walk around the museum. So I'm gonna go to church and then I'm gonna set up like a little area by the water and just vibe by myself and talk to y'all. Yeah, so that's pretty much my day. And as y'all can see, I still have on um, pajamas and stuff like that. I look like I just woke up, to be honest. And I've been up for at least like an hour. I guess that is just waking up. But I'm gonna go get myself together and then I'll be back. All right, what's up y'all? I am back and I am in a car as y'all can see. I am, I got a wig on first of all. Let's just take a moment for her. <laughs> Anyways though y'all, I am gonna be on my way to church i just wanted to check in with y'all right quick before i started my drive because y'all know i'm about to listen to music the whole ride and yeah i will check in with y'all when i get there and yeah peace so y'all i am currently walking towards the detroit institute of arts um i went <laughs> I went to the place that uh, the church service is usually at and all the doors were locked. So I was originally gonna come here today, but I think I mentioned that to y'all earlier. And I had such a long day yesterday, like my knees were hurting yesterday from all the walking that I did. But my knees don't hurt anymore. So I done drove downtown, I'm like, I might as well find me something to do and yep the DIA was definitely on that list I love the DIA so much it's such a beautiful museum I'm gonna insert some clips for y'all so y'all can see oh look y'all see the sign in the back I'm gonna insert some clips for y'all so y'all can see it
Okay, guys, I am leaving. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to the museum with me. I wanted to show y'all more of that one exhibit. Um, it was, uh, I can't even remember his name, but he was a photographer from Ghana. And I wish I could record more of his, of his exhibit, but uh, the security came up to me and was like, you can only record videos for about 12 seconds for security reasons. Uh, which I just had a feeling he was about to say something to me because I was recording before I went in there. And then as soon as I got done, he he walked right up upon me. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just walking back to my car. It's a pretty nice day out here. I um I'm about to see about oh this man just tried to ride his bike over the curb. <laughs> I don't know why he thought he was gonna be able to do that. I want to go to the science center I'm about to show y'all. I haven't been to the science center since like grade school. And I know it looks completely different in there. I feel like they've done like some renovation. Yeah, renovations to it. I gotta go check that out because I have not been there in a very long time. But I ain't got nobody to get a fit check. I might put the phone down and get a fit check. I don't know. My arm hurts. <laughs> we can't have uh, tripods or anything in a museum either. So, yeah. I have no choice but to hold this thing and have my arm out. I'll see my henna. I might do a video of me doing a henna soon. I haven't done henna in a while. This is my first time in a while doing it. And I had a really good time doing it. I love doing henna. It's so fun to do. It's just, this was very messy. I haven't done it in a minute, so it wasn't as neat as I would like it to be, but that's okay. Oh, look, the sun coming out. All right, so I will check back in with you guys when I get to my next destination. I'm not sure where I'm going, but I'm gonna figure it out. And I'll see you guys later, or see you guys in a minute, for real, for real. What's up, y'all? So I made it to where I was going and I am walking to this little spot that um, I came to with some of my friends a few weeks ago. They show, uh, show me this little spot uh, so I could be closer to the river. Oh, it's bees. <laughs> they gonna try to ooh, smell good. And yes, it's a nice day. I said that already, but it is such a nice day. It's not too hot out. This sun is sunning, but I'm about to get in some shade. Y'all, my hair hot. <laughs> my hair is so hot. This is why I don't be wearing wigs like that no more. Because, whew, baby. I definitely enjoy my bald head <laughs> because I don't have to worry about these wigs in my forehead. I wish y'all could see how this wig look under here. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm looking real crazy. I'm looking real crazy, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? No one knows. As far as everybody is concerned, my wig is slayed up under this scarf. <laughs> Although, I'm gonna take her right off and I'm gonna put her right back on. Y'all ever seen that video with that little girl? And she said, step what? <laughs> That's one of my faves. I showed it. She put that motherfucker right back on. I showed it. 
Yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stiff what? Stiff what? For real, stiff what? Ooh, ooh. No way. Stiff what? Well. No. So, there are some um props. I don't know if I told y'all this, but there's some props that um are in the artist way to help with any blockages or anything like that. And since I am coming up on the end of my week one, I figure just sit by the water and reflect and write and do those props. I tried to start the artist way like last month, but I didn't have me like a set like schedule. So it just never, it didn't stick y'all, it didn't stick. But it's gonna stick this time. We're gonna do the 12 weeks, we're gonna thug it out. I gotta put some sunscreen on. So, somebody's sitting in the spot that I thought I was about to sit in, but that's okay because I'm a little closer to the water right here. But I am at a slant, y'all. I am at a little slant, but. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this view. All right, y'all. So I just had to set my phone up on my purse because I don't have a tripod. But let's just talk about real quick the importance of solo dating. I think that it's, for me and my own personal like journey, I never was like the type that ever wanted to do anything by myself. And I always wanted somebody to be with me. Like I would never go anywhere by myself. Like if I didn't have somebody with me to go, I wasn't gonna go because who wants to be out in public by themselves? <laughs> but as I've been healing and captivating this self love a little more, inviting in this self love, I've realized how important solitude is and just being by yourself and spending time alone with yourself. Like, how are you gonna get to know yourself if you don't spend some time alone with yourself and just getting comfortable with being alone? Because we come in this world alone, we gonna leave this world alone. And yeah, you have people that come and go or that stay with you the whole ride that you know you can call on when you may need something or whatever case may be you know you always have somebody there around you but like when you're by yourself like you're by yourself like you can't run away from yourself no matter how hard you may try you are always with you so Getting comfortable with just being alone. I don't know. I feel like it's very empowering, at least for me, because shoot, I've had conversations with my mom and she don't even feel comfortable going certain places by herself. Like she just won't do it. It's, I don't know. I think it's cool dating yourself though <laughs> I really don't know I don't think I had too much to say I don't know. as I sit here though and I do this journaling I probably come back and talk to y'all I know people probably like look at this girl and like, when I say y'all I'm really far down like, I'm really close to the water but it wasn't no other spots. Like, I, they on a date. I didn't want to interrupt their date. <laughs> and I'm sitting here talking to the camera. They probably like, they keep, they low key keep looking at me, y'all. Probably because they feel like I'm intruding on their date. 
but I gave us a, a, some good distance. I can't hear them. They can't hear me. I just wanted my own little space. I didn't expect anybody to be over here. And when I got over here, so. And I'm going to catch this vibe. I'm about to do these journal prompts. And I'm going to come back in a little second and talk to y'all some more. Because who knows what might come about while I'm sitting here. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be out here either. So, yeah. I'll be back. Sunday, you know, we got to do a Sunday reset and get ready for the week. <laughs> mm. I got some candy stuck in my tooth. Yo, mm -hmm. nah, if you grew up in a church, then you know all about these right here. Mm. I bought me some yesterday. I haven't had these in so long. So good. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of talking this vlog. I'm still trying to get better at what to say in the vlog because truthfully, honestly, I don't know. I don't really be knowing what to say for real. While I'm vlogging, anyways, it's kind of just going with the flow, and whatever comes up, comes up. I know older people probably be like these kids, <laughs> these younger generations, and these phones and recording themselves talking to the bank on the phone. They be looking at me. Maybe you're probably looking at us, not just me. Like, we crazy. Ooh. I got this from when I worked at Target. It's like a little picnic blanket. It comes in so much handy because, yeah, I didn't bring no blanket or nothing. I would have been SOL. Out of luck. If this wasn't in my trunk. This is a long walk. <laughs> it's not for real. I don't know. I uh, think I want to talk to y'all about my spirituality a little bit too. And even like some of the things I talked about while I was writing. Because after I did my prompts, I just started writing. And I really thought like, well, I ain't gonna say it, I thought. I really was just tr reflecting, trying to see if I was in like some fiending for it. Not fiending, but like wanted to be in a relationship. Like was the desire for that showing up in an unhealthy way? Because sometimes I be feeling like I get too into wanting to be in a relationship if I'm gonna be completely and utterly honest. But, ooh, bark, bark, bark. sitting and reflecting a little bit, like, it's not in an unhealthy way that I desire that. And it's okay for me to desire that. I'm doing the work that's necessary for me to be the best version 
of myself for not just myself but for my partner and that uh, it's literally normal and okay for me to want my person like I am such a relationship girl y'all and I've only been in <laughs> technically two relationships and a whole bunch of situationships like go figure right but all those situations and those two relationships have taught me a lot so they are they they made me better for the person that so i'm not sure oh, i think i want to talk about them. i don't want to get too deep into my most recent fix but i do want to talk about that a little bit and the things I'll ask for them. Uh-uh. I do want to talk about that just a little bit on here and the things that I have learned from it. And even like how... Oh! I'm also... Awesome. There we go. And even how like... I still kind of desire to be within that. I'm kind of trying to work through it. Yeah. I just made it to the car, y'all. I just put the wrong thing on code in the car. Mm -mm. I need to put this thing in the trunk so I don't forget. Uh oh. So much from and it's so much I would do differently, like, but so much that I would not do differently, all in the same sense. Because if I uh, not my phone connected to the radio and cut me off, me and talking, but yeah, if I would have did anything differently, I'm gonna put y'all right here, then I wouldn't have. Oh, I sit real close to the seat, y'all, and I'm not that short. <laughs> but I'll be feeling like I can't reach the pedals. But yeah, if I would have did anything differently, then I wouldn't have learned what I learned, right? So there's that. But yeah, I'm about to go home. I'm about to listen to this music. And I am going to tap in with y'all when I get home. Is this shit real? I can't believe